Drexel University is a very famous institution of higher learning in Philadelphia. One of their esteemed professors was just arrested for breaking into a synagogue because she didn't like posters supporting Jewish causes. She did offer to take all the stuff back that she destroyed. I hope she goes to prison for a long time. Drexel University in Philadelphia has a professor, really nice looking lady, very pleasant looking, named Mariana Chilton. She's a professor of health management and policy, and they have her apparently on camera with two accomplices. They went to a synagogue and literally attacked the synagogue, took down their pro-Israel support signs for the hostages and for Israel. And she trespassed into the synagogue to do this and took off with their support for the Jewish community signs. And she got arrested and she said, we are just taking them because we feel like it is a representative of genocide. But if you want, I'll put everything back. <laughs> She's a professor at a major famous university teaching children right and wrong, ethics, morality, and behavior. And this is her behavior. She's in jail, but I wonder if she's going to be prosecuted. She's charged really? with I'm conspiracy. surprised they put her in jail. She's charged with theft. She's charged with trespass. She's charged with driving without a license and driving an unregistered vehicle. Wow. I'm surprised. That, you know what? Maybe Biden DOJ will step in again. Let her off with a misdemeanor. Slap on the wrist. I'm surprised they actually put her in jail. I mean, look at look what all these other professors have done. They've done even worse and they're, they're walking around free. They've actually called for the extermination of Jews and they're walking around free. No well, issue. Drexel, Drexel had the camp outs where they were chanting the same thing. Well, yeah. And nothing happened to him. That's what I'm like. What? We got to we're going to follow up on this story, because like you said, you, you acted surprised. She got arrested and is in jail. And I assume she's out by now. We got to follow up to find out if she really gets prosecuted or ends up like that Muslim lawyer we talked about in New York that blew up a police car <laughs> after bragging she was going to blow up a police car. The minimum <laughs> sentencing guideline was 10 years. Biden's Justice Department got it down to 15 months. Probably, I, w I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if they you know, said that you know, time served. Oh, yeah. You know, well, or... then, then, and then you get good behavior credit and all that sort yep. of thing.